finally. Actually, it was yesterday, finally, we had a chance to talk, man. And I did not know you were going to be part of this. Why didn't you tell me? How did you not know? The city was abuzz with my name. <laughs> you didn't hear it. I didn't hear it, man. What was it that you, you performed, correct? I performed last night at the opening night awards, um, which went really well. It was uh, an honor, and I was really relieved to, to get through it. Uh, but it went great, and I had a blast doing it. Who were you excited to see last night? Because so many great artists were around you, man. Yeah, well, I, I met so many people that I admire, which was really cool. Um, but one of which, J.P. Sachs, he and I go way back. He, we were in a band together uh, when we were in high school. So we kind of had a nice little reunion, which was really special. Um, and then meeting Charlotte Cardin was beautiful, and I met Valley. It was like a really cool night, and I met a lot of people that I admire. You know, the thing I always love about you is you've had this steady pace in your career. You, you knew the steps that you needed to take in moving forward. Yeah. Why do you, why, like you don't jump on trends, you know what you want. Why is that important? Well, first of all, I appreciate that very much. Thank you for saying that. Um, I think I've just learned over the last few years what's important to me as an artist and, and who I want to be as an artist. And um, I'm just trying to stay true to that and, and work as hard as I can. Um, and if that means just working hard steadily, um, that's what I'm going to do. So that's that answer. What are we looking at new music for 2022? Absolutely. We're going to look at uh, maybe in the next six weeks we might have something with an EP uh, in the summer. Oh, so that means we're doing another interview then. I'll do as many as you'll have. <laughs> Brother, thank you so much. Have a great time tonight and congrats for last night. Thank you, Rudy. I appreciate it. Adrian, first, congratulations on your nomination, especially because a new category that was long overdue. What did it feel like to be part of history? Because that is history. It felt pretty good, you know, it's been an exciting experience so far and to, to have the category broken out into um, two is, 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 I think is a big step for Indigenous music. And I was going to say that too. Are you hoping that there's ever going to be a point in time where we don't have to talk about this category, that category? We just talk about great music and it doesn't matter what the background is. Yeah, I, I think so. I think that there, there, we're a little ways um, from to, to getting to that point, but I think uh, you're right. I think there's just so many uh, great artists out there, indigenous, non-indigenous, and I think it's just, um, I, I think it'll sometimes, it should break through all sorts of different barriers and reach as many, like so many people, great music can do that. And I think uh, we're gonna start seeing a lot more of that um, in the coming years. Definitely. Now, what was the album you were nominated for? Uh, it was my debut solo album, When the Magic Hits. And what's the album about? It's a, it's a, it's a deep, it's a personal album, uh, uh, something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, and, and in the last two years, I was, you know, that, that gave me, that allowed me to do it. And uh, it's just been, um, it's just been something I've been wanting to do for such a long time. And finally being able to do it, it's, and get it done and have it, to have the success, success it's had so far is, is uh, even more um, exciting and it just feels feels pretty good. What are we looking at for the rest of 2022? Uh, getting back out on the, on the road and doing some shows. So that's starting to take shape a little bit this summer and into the fall, uh, but nothing too crazy and perhaps maybe into next year, hopefully if things are starting to kind of, you know, move in the right direction with everything going back to normal next year, hopefully we'll have a big year for touring and stuff so and hopefully the next recording we can actually do the sit down interview because i love to talk to you more man have a good time tonight and congratulations all right thank you so first my friend congratulations on making history congratulations on winning uh canada's biggest music award how are you feeling about all of this happening man in less than 24 hours <laughs> it's <laughs> it's amazing, you know. It still hasn't really soaked in, like it really hasn't soaked in yet. And uh, you know, my parents are happy, my sisters are happy, you know. And uh, you know, it's just a blessed feeling, you know. No, I'm just curious. Once you had won, did you start getting text messages from friends? And even better, did you get messages from people who may not have liked you before, but now suddenly they're your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. You know, I gotta be real with you though. A lot of my, like, mo like all of the schoolmates that I have, you know, they've been really, really supportive. And, um, you know, I thank them for that. Even the teachers and the principal, 
they've been really supportive of me and um you know i have i did get a lot of tech text messages though yesterday <laughs> What what were you nominated for? Like, what was the what was the music that you're nominated for? Well, I do reggae, um, yeah. and I was nominated for reggae. No, but I mean the, the music itself. What was it? Oh, the the song? Yeah. It was easy now. What is the song about? Well, the song is about a myriad of things, you know, and um, the like it, it tackles. It's like a, almost like we like to call it a blanket song. So it tackles most of the social issues that we would have problems with. So, for instance, in the first verse, it it would tackle. Um, bullying in schools and the second verse is about corrupt pol politicians <laughs> and uh, you know from there on therefore you know you know the thing is we were all so impressed with you yesterday uh, in your maturity but damn I did not realize you were this tall how tall are you um, <laughs> we measured the other day I'm 510 and a half with shoes on and you're still growing aren't you yes I am <laughs> <laughs> new music are we looking new music in the future Definitely. As a matter of fact, this summer uh, we have an album coming out called 13, and um, it's a seven track album, and you know, you're gonna love it. <laughs> wait, look, congratulations. Have a great time tonight, and keep representing, my friend. Most definitely. Thanks for having me. My brother, how's it feel being back here in Toronto? Not just in Toronto, but of course for the Juno Awards. Double home for you. Beautiful feeling, man. Because last year we wasn't doing it. The fact that I got nominated. Uh, you want me to hold this? No, no, no. Uh, okay. The fact that I got nominated was a beautiful thing, Rudy. And um, it just shows how intergenerational this genre of music really is, you know? No, it's not just that, too, but it shows how much that you adapt because you don't believe in boxes. I mean, would you have thought 30 years ago that you would be creating a children's album? You'd be nominated for something like this and, and coming up with such a great character that, of course, is close to home. It's a beautiful thing to still be acknowledged after this time, and I appreciate being appreciated, definitely. Always, what is it about you that always keeps moving forward, not backwards? I got mouths to feed, family. You know, you, you got to come up with something. <laughs> you know, I kind of thought yesterday, too, what a stack category for the uh, Best Children's Album. Yeah. It was amazing to see that. I mean, walk off the earth, you know, yeah. kid and everything. I don't think I've ever seen that before in that category. Yeah, man. And you know what, man? I, I said, what's up to the brother who won? And uh, he from Edmonton. So I said, maybe I'll, I'll write another one. I'll win in your town. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because Edmonton is going to it's gonna be where the Junos are next year. You know? You know what I was going to say, though? How is the new home for you? I know you've been doing a lot there representing again. St. John's a beautiful spot, man. It's a beautiful spot, all things considered. It's been amazing. Do you miss Toronto, though? Of course. It's where I'm from, guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, it's tough. I mean, the Leafs lost yesterday, as we speak. The Leafs lost, but guess who I met? Wendell Clark, man. And he's a Maestro Fresh West fan, so that was a beautiful thing. What are we looking at in the future right now? What's happening the rest of 2022? Well, I, I'm, I'm the host of season two of Race Against the Tide, mm -hmm. uh, which is CBC series. I'm very, very happy to be a part of that. So, you want to see me. All right. The last thing, what advice, because like I said, you've been here before many times. What advice can you give the Juno nominees, first time, and even first time winners? What advice can you give them? Well, you know me, like I said, we said, like I said, don't make records, make history. That's number one. Number two, take in this moment, man. Document this, because tomorrow's never promised. When I first won back in the days, we were on to the next. I was, we weren't taking pictures and stuff like that back then. I really documented it, and I, I wish I did. I regret that, you know? Now, take everything. Take in, let people know you love them. Let people know you respect them, you know? Different artists, let them know you respect them, too, you know? Always respect and big love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gentlemen, it's an honor that I get a chance to speak to Juno Award winners, especially because this is one of the most important Junos ever because this is the Junos that brought everybody back. How does it feel being on this red carpet knowing that you guys have made your own history and winning a Juno Award? <laughs> Feels great. Yeah, we've had a, uh, we we were at the uh, there was a gala last night too, and the, uh, me and Devin are sharing a hotel room. He woke up this morning and said, "Man, I had such a great time last night. It was so great to see so many people." And I like that was off the red carpet. That was just uh, you know that was a private moment. It was really really great. We all agree. It's, it's yeah, been amazing. Yeah. And it's so that Juno's heavy. Like it's heavier than the before. Yeah, it's got some weight to it. But the worst thing is they give it to you, and then right as you walk off stage, they take it from you. And I tried to fight them, and and then they keep giving you more, and you take photos, you give it back. That's my baby. That's Where what is they it? Don't tell you. Can yeah. You? I'm gonna have to wait one, two months. It's get it in the, in the mail. mail. Yeah, wait yeah, in the yeah, mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't feel that good. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, is, what was the uh, category that you guys wanted for what album? 
the, what was the category? The category and what album? Uh, it was Adult Alternative Album of the Year, and the album was Inwards and Onwards. What's the album about? Uh, I mean, part of the, it was a pandemic baby in a way, an experience of having to look inwards and then figuring out how to move onwards. Um, it was very reflective music, and we're digging into our past and finding a new way to do things, and uh, it, was, it was a big uh, internal and external experience. I was going to say, how much did the pandemic influence your, your music style? Did it change anything, say, what you were doing before, seeing what was going on during the pandemic, and then after? That, that's a question I think any anyone, even if you're not making music or whatever you're doing, it's going to take a few more years. You're going to look back on your life and realize um, what was going on during these years. We're kind of still in the middle of it. Like this is an event where we're kind of coming out of uh, out of the pandemic, but it's still it's still kind of fresh. We'll see. I, I mean, we could ask anybody that same question, whatever field of work they're in, you know. True. Tour-wise, what's going on with you guys now? But you back on the road? Oh yeah, we're booked up. We got festivals across Canada all summer long. We're going to Europe twice this year already. Maybe come back to Toronto in December. Who knows? Who knows? And if you're coming back in December, does that mean new music will be following with this? I hope so. I sincerely hope so. Right. <laughs> Gentlemen, have a great time tonight. Congratulations. Much deserved. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Did you two get together and decide how you were going to coordinate? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we did. And about a month ago, we decided. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Purple. But you wear a purple suit because I directed a music video for Alex like years yeah. ago and you wear a purple suit in that video. Oh. If you give me love, weren't you wearing yeah. like a purple shirt with like a sparkly yeah, suit? Yeah, a purple shirt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, good memory. Good memory, huh? No, no, no. There's a reason why you're both here at the Junos. Why are you here? I'm here because I won Recording Engineer of the Year. One more time, it was still loud. I won Recording Engineer of the Year. No, I can't hear you. One more time, please. I won <laughs> Recording Engineer of the Year. Breaking ground all the time. And you, Mr. Grammy Award winner. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very proud of my friend over here. She made history last night. And that is uh, so inspiring, you know? Yeah, Just yeah. think of the people coming after you. That's the shit right there. Exactly. <laughs> He won a Grammy too, that's the... Yeah, I know, I was screaming. She texted yeah. me. I was I screaming, <laughs> yeah. Of course I texted him. When your friend wins a Grammy, that's like the, a huge deal. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and you've been nominated so many times. That was your, is that your first? Because uh, Latin Grammys, Grammys you oh, always Latin win. Latin Grammys is, yeah. 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 How did that feel? I got four Latin Grammys and, a, and an American Grammy now. That's amazing. And of course you got the Juno nomination too. Congratulations. I'm, having, I'm having a little bit of a hard time landing my third Juno. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to talk to God or something. No, no, you just got to do what you do great. Here you do. You, you get the music together, and you get super producer over here to work with. He's a super producer. There you go. I got He's it. a super producer. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah. So look, I got to let the Purple Wonders go. Have a great time tonight, and to both of you, congratulations. Thank you. Gentlemen, what the hell? Do you guys like... Are you part vampire or something? Yes, part time. I times, swear yes. you guys don't age. We've been doing interviews since the 90s. Like, uh, what the hell? The Lord has been good. <laughs> we just uh, we just get uh, crypto frozen. Well, not crypto frozen, but we just freeze throughout the winter. Oh, so it, it saves us. We ice us up, we ice up we call it. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 music just keeps you young. If you look at a lot of people walking this red carpet and stuff, when you're doing something with a passion, it just it just brings that youth and life out of you. And I think that's a part of it. You know what? That's so true. Look at Maestro. Maestro looks exactly like he did from day one. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah, there's there's a lot of them out there that, that just look fantastic. And hopefully we, we look as good as Maestro. Yeah. You We're know, say we got it from our mama. God bless there her soul. Go. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. you go. How does it feel being on the red carpet? You guys have been part of this before. Oh. You've been nominees. I'm trying to remember. Did you guys win? Yes. We, we won in 2015, yeah. Nominated again. This is our third nomination. It's always an honor and a blessing to be uh, acknowledged at such a prestigious event, such as the Junos. And, like, we are beyond thrilled and honored and moved to be here as, as we are. But now we're feeling a little sizzling hot on this red carpet. Oh, man, it's but warm. But I ain't it's complaining. Hot. It's hot. It's I mean, hot. I'm, like, sweating back here myself, and I'm trying to keep my mask on at the same time, too. Yeah. Now, did you guys say you were nominated this year also? You yes. Were nominated. Yes, yeah. we are nominated. Who are you guys nominated for? Uh, Gospel Album of the Year, Contemporary, Contemporary Christian. Christian. Yeah. yeah. Yep, there we go. That is beautiful, man. I love that. What's the... Uh, we know the theme of it, but what's the album called and what's it about? 
So volume one, I mean, it was a bit of a somber project for us. We had lost our mother back in 2020, right? And so, yeah. So um, right before the pandemic hit, it's just like we, we had this, this loss of our family and then obviously it was followed up by the loss of our passion in music and that that really hit us home and uh, we had the opportunity to either just sit back or to express ourselves as, as artists in, in an authentic way and we put our hearts out there and it led to, to this Juno nomination and um, man we, we just um, as much as we're honored to be a part of this award we just want people to connect with it feel it and yeah. uh, be a part of the healing process too because yeah. that's what Juno's 2022 yeah. is about. If there is anything that we need, what we've gone through for the last three years, it's healing yeah. and a lot of that. Future, what's going on in 2022? New music, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, new music, man. We got a new single coming out, Love You to Death, May 27th. Thrilled about it. And a new album this fall, Volume you. 2. Yeah. We need this, man. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you, brother. Great to see you. Great to see and you. like I said, have a great time tonight. Thank you, brother. Thank yeah. you. Well, well, well. Well, something happened to you guys yesterday, didn't it? That it did, Rudy. That it did, man. What happened while you guys were performing in London and tearing it up? We won Breakthrough Group of the Year, baby! Oh my God. When did you guys hear about it? Were you on stage? What was going on? I found out like just before, and then I was really nervous, but super excited too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, oh my gosh, oh. The pressure's on, gotta play a good show. Man, how does it feel? Fine, it's like what The Rock says, finally! It happened. How does it feel? It feels really validating, man. It feels like we've arrived a little bit, you know? Just validate. No, you know, I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm going to talk to you. Because I know you're going to give me the excitement on this one. How did it feel knowing that you won? It feels absolutely incredible. We've been doing this for a while and for everyone else to see it and give a crap about us. I'm really honored to be here. And this is only the beginning. We've got a lot more coming. When you think about when you guys first got together and now Juno Award winners, what's the path like? What's the what? The path. What's the path like? Oh man, perseverance, blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, yeah. Foot fetishes. Oh yeah, lots of foot fetish. Looks like boring yourself, you know. <laughs> you gotta just open up your mind. <laughs> oh, it's always gonna come out. So what are we looking at now? New music, Juno Award winner. New music's coming soon, within weeks. Yeah. So we're going to talk again then. Absolutely. Very soon, Rudy. Really. You guys know I'm so happy and proud of you guys. Congratulations on this win. And again, thank you so much for letting me be able to document your journey. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thanks thank you. It's an honor. How many years has it been now that you guys have been nominated for Group of the Year? Like, how many times now? Like Three. Three? Four, four was uh, country we've, album. We've been coming here for four years. Yes, but four three years. years now for that. Has that is that a first that a Canadian country group has been nominated three times in a row like this? Actually, I think it might be. It might be. Uh, we might be uh, tied with Loud Luxury at the moment, but that yeah. would be about it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty wild to be up against those names. Honestly, like to see us up there is is really cool. What do you think it is? I know with the sports thing and everything, it's a great connection, but still, you guys have somehow helped, you know, bring country music, not just country music. You've brought it to just the masses across Canada. How does it feel being able to do something like that? It's amazing. I, I like to think that that's why we get invited to come to this event, for sure. But we've had so many people in the past come up to us where they're like, it'll be like a country fan is like the wife, and then the husband comes up and he's yeah. like, my wife loves country, I didn't and I don't, but after seeing your show, I'm starting to understand what the whole thing's about, and it's kind of like the thing that we want to own a little bit. It's always a good, by the way, how's your leg? Because the last time I saw you, you had the busted leg. I'm He's okay, dancing. I'm okay, I'm moving now, Rudy. Dance. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> What's going on, new music for 2022? Oh my gosh, we got so many plans and so many shows coming up, it's going to be wild, yeah. but we Boston are so ready for it. I'm just curious, is Boots and Hearts part of this, maybe? Maybe. I think we played it um, seven years in a row, so they might be uh, they might be uh, tired of us. At the moment. You know what? No, no, just show up and play. Nobody's gonna tell you to go away. Look, guys, have a great time tonight. Congratulations. Let's talk when the new music comes out. Yes. Rudy Blair, we love you. We love Rudy Blair.